Okay, we're back on the silver trail in this video, taking a look at the three pence, threepence, or the threepenny bit, as it was known, depending on where you lived in the UK at the time. So we've got four coins in front of you. I've placed them in date order. The earliest on the left to the most recent on the right. As you can see, we start with a Queen Vic specimen. Pretty worn out, to be honest. Let's turn her over and see how old she is. 1898, so 122 years to date. I guess she's entitled to be a bit weathered and worn after all these years. On to the next one, Edward VIII here, Queen Vic's son, who reigned from 1901 to 1910. Let's turn it over. Okay, we can see this is from 1902, making it 118 years old. Up next, we have George V, clearly dated 1934. And finally, we have his son, George VI, Queen Elizabeth's dad. And as you can see, this coin dates back to 1937. As you can see, I've turned them back over and lined them up again. These first two coins here are 92.5% sterling silver. These other two, however, are 50% silver. Coins were 92.5% sterling silver up until 1919. Then in 1920, their silver content was dropped to 50% and then stopped altogether by 1944 stroke 1945. So looking at these coins, we can see that each ruling monarch faces the opposite way to the last one when they come into power. That is until we get here. Here we can see that George V there and George VI are both facing left. That's because Edward VIII, who was king for only 10 months, abdicated and his coin should have been between these two facing right. But because of his abdication, that's why we don't have that coin. His brother instead continued the tradition by naturally facing left in the sequence which continues today with Queen Elizabeth facing right on all of our coins. So what are these coins worth? Well, they really are quite cheap to buy. Anything between one and three pounds, depending on their condition. And most of these are fairly worn, so they were fairly cheap. Anyhow, before I go, most of these were fairly easy to get, except this one. This one of Edward VIII. I see loads of the others, but not so many of him, and I don't know why. Answers on a postcard, please, to me. Alright, I won't keep you any longer. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to the channel as it costs you nothing. And until the next one, bye for now.